New at 6 tonight, Nellis Air Force Base is a vital part of Southern, uh, Southern Nevada. It brings $5 billion and thousands of people to our valley. However, it used to be in the distant northeast part of the valley. It's not so distant anymore. So what happens as the civilian population grows closer to military operations? John Langler found out. Nellis Air Force Base is rarely quiet in the sky and in the meeting room. We can, if you will, cuss and discuss through those issues together. Colonel Josh DeMotz is the base commander. We've got uh, a, a body that meets with the mayors uh, as well as the county once a quarter, um, but I'll tell you that's really not enough. Four times a year, Nellis leaders meet with Clark County, North Las Vegas and other local governments. They discuss how to be good neighbors. We really try to work and figure out what's best for both worlds because we have to coexist. By all accounts, they do. But it can still be a challenge to balance the needs of civilian life with the needs of military activity. When it was first built in 1941, the Las Vegas Army Airfield was nice and remote. In just the last 35 years, the base has been surrounded. A lot of residential um, over there that probably really shouldn't exist anymore because if you sit in somebody's home and heard it rattle when it's, uh, they're doing their training exercises, I don't think anybody intended that. I know there have been some proposals in the past for some potential uh, residential areas further to the north uh, that would be kind of underneath our flight paths. To keep civilian and military worlds safe and separate, there are guidelines like these. They outline planning around Nellis. Industrial is encouraged, homes are not. What might get in the way of military operations and what the military actually needs. We want to make sure that we're, we're not only safe in the air, but everybody that's underneath us is safe. At the same time, there are ongoing issues with infrastructure and housing around Nellis. We have Las Vegas Boulevard kind of going right through the middle of base. I would love to have 80, 90 million dollars to build a bridge from one side of the base to the other, but it's just not realistic. It's the search for realistic solutions which keeps civilian and military leaders engaged to everyone's benefit. It is on us to ensure that they can coexist. John Langler, 8 News Now.